my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. This is so pretty. I love Nipsey's light show. I just came downstairs. I was taking some pictures of it because the energy changes clearly. So whatever the energy pattern is in the room, the lights from the candles shift to match the energy. I want to show you. Oh my, they're all starting to move. Mm. Hi, baby. I love you so much. Hi, baby. Hi, beautiful baby. I just lit this candle literally two minutes ago, and you see it's already beaming so bright. And going in the same direction. I try to move so you can see what I see. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi, baby. Hi, beautiful Hermes. Joseph. Ashkadam. Do you love? I hope you love the altar. I worked really hard on it. Make sure you like it. I apologize. I didn't get to finish everything for Valentine's Day. Because I wasn't feeling that great. So I had to rest. And I'm making up for it now. This big tall candle here. He likes this one. He always asks me for this one. And I know he likes it. Because you see how... <laughs> <laughs> how bright it is and I have another baby one of the spirit babies sitting by the altar she was upstairs I forgot about her I saw her last week and she wanted to come downstairs with the others and um, she has not asked me to go back upstairs she was in my room so as she's sitting here I include her in some of the pictures she doesn't want to go, so I'm not going to make her go. You see that above there? And have fresh rose petals all over. This blue, I love the contrast of the blue. There she is, right there. She likes sitting by Nipsey's altar. <laughs> I let them do what they want. The other two are still over there in the corner. It's beaming. Did you all know that this was the anniversary of Malcolm X assassination today? Uh, February 21st, 2023. It's absolutely amazing because I didn't know that. I forgot about it. And they, I was telling you how I saw him and MLK in here. Today, of all days, I didn't know it when I was sent up the altar. Wow, you see the beam? And the baby sitting there, and then there's the beam, and then there's the beam on the red candle right above him. Love, a word that comes and goes, but few people really know. There's an orb, this is dancing crib orb right there. Hmm. Isn't beautiful? It's throwing, it's throwing different signals. It's shifting. What it means to really love somebody. Love. Though the tears may fade away. I'm so glad your love will stay Cause I love you, Nipsey And you show me What it really means 
so tired. I'm literally bending over trying to make sure that you get to see everything because I think it's so pretty. Oh, there's a beam right there. I can see it. It's orbing. I wish you could feel what I feel. It feels so beautiful in here. And the energy is so beautiful and peaceful. I can just lay down and go to sleep in here. And to just not leave this room. It feels so good. Hi, baby. My sweet baby. Mm -hmm. I also put a candle up here for his friend, Michael Gideon. Mm -hmm. and I'm praying for justice for him and that they get the shooter, no matter where he is in the world, and make him pay for what he's done. And taking this man from his family. And you know what? I didn't get to listen and write it all down yet, but it was so beautiful. Michael Gideon, he was talking to his wife and his children. And he was visiting them and around them. And he's so afraid for them because he feels like he can't, nobody can really protect them like him. And it's like he said three three things, up, like the title of it, he said, my love my life, my wife. That's what Mike, Michael Gideon said about his wife and his children. He said, she's his love. She's his life and his wife. And it was one child, like a boy. Cause I saw that at first he's, he's focused on that child. So I don't know if there's something about that child that's unique to him, or I don't know if it's because it's his son, something special and very gifted and intelligent about that child. And then he was looking at all of his children, but that something about a boy, he was fixating on the boy and his wife and then another child. But of course he loves all of his children the same, but something special about the boy. He said, I will always follow my children. He wanted them to go to college, university, travel abroad, speak different languages so I'm wondering, did he speak different languages or his wife speak different languages or was he teaching the children to speak different languages already and he already prepared for their future and was thinking about their future. And he is saying, tell my wife, I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my life. That was the love of my life, my wife, but... Uh, it's still something off about this to me or somebody wanted to come in between them or break them up. Like with some type of love affair, it's, it's something off about this. And actually it's sad because I see people celebrating and focusing on making money or getting money after this man's physical death, celebrating his demise and new partnerships and agreements and meetings since his physical death somebody was rewarded or making money and actually focused on celebrating it and it's three women too involved in this i'm like what is the secret conspiracy here the internal organizational enemies this man had and has and i wonder about real estate he has even that club i don't know if that they're renting that property or it was paid for or someone else that's hidden or unknown or some other group or construction firm or organization underground underworld wanted that property or wanted to uproot them to deal with bringing in a new era or targeting people of color or minority or wanted to regentrify that area. It's something coming up about real estate and the real estate Michael Gideon owned or leans on property problems with real estate and other owners. Or I don't know if he was just the owners of real estate or he sold them or there was issues with them. Purchases, leans. These are things 
I wanted that, that needed to be resolved or things from the past or still underneath there are tied to his businesses now and partnerships and agreements are old, it's old enemies, secret enemies, old, there's, he's saying it and they're saying it old real estate and debts. Uh, I don't know if this was renovations, properties he's owned, properties he's rented, properties he's bought, um, conflict with other owners, um, foreclosures, bankruptcies, something like this. These things. I know this probably would sound crazy to people that know this man. And forgive me if I am saying something wrong or disrespectful. But this is what I'm hearing. This man is all paperwork, legal work. Some of this is federal. Some of this is state. Some of this is bank ownerships, finances, loans, corporate corporations, structures, restructures, different groups, private organizations that I'm seeing secretly underneath stuff that's not resolved. And some people are happy that this happened. A lot of times people hate your success and don't want you to have it and want you destroyed in it. And he's speaking out and he definitely wants protection for his wife and his children. And he said he will never leave them. He will always be around them. And he loves his wife so much. And he misses her and he did not want this pain. He said they think that I'm gone or she thinks I'm gone. I'm not there. But I am there. And he's like, I want her to marry me again. So I wonder how long they were married or did they remarry or were they talking about getting married again, having a special ceremony to celebrate their marriage, their life, their time together. So he wants to do that. He's like, don't leave me. (laughs) I'm sure she's not thinking about that or don't marry anyone else. I don't want another man around my children. Um, You know, of course his family, that's fine. His brothers, but I know she's not thinking that. But he's saying he never wants that. He's like, because I will always be with them and watch over them. And he's crying. Mm. I was trying not to get into it because um, of the pain. And he feels so backstabbed and betrayed and heartbroken. And he's bringing up his mother again. And I'm wondering. Where's his father? Is his father still physically alive? But he focuses on the mother. And you know, that's got to be heartbreaking losing her boy, her beautiful boy. Um, It's amazing. I look at him and his brother. They look just like twins, so much alike, just like Black Sam and Nipsey. They look so much alike, like twins. Handsome men. uh, Intelligent men. Accomplished men. Loving, generous, and kind men. So, it's so, so fucked up. So sad. He has so much to say. And he's like, I'm I'm writing this love letter to my wife. <laughs> I didn't capture it yet, but he's, he's talking to his wife. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anyone do that. Of course, I've seen people talk to their love and their wife, but not the, I, I love the way he titled it. My love, my life, my wife. And he starts to, to write to her and he said, it was okay. If I hear it, I write it down and I read it, but it's so beautiful. But I was kind of trying not to go there. Cause I didn't want to cry. It's so sad because he has so much love for her. And his life and the life they were planning. I'm looking at this man. This man was 50 years old. He looks so young. I did not know he was 50. He still had a lot of life ahead of him and with his family. And that's what he was planning. It's so beautiful. (sighs) And it's so unfair when you reach a point in your life and everything's already, already been good. And you mapped it out and you're happy and you're in love. And the person you're in love with loves you and you have beautiful children and a beautiful wife and a beautiful life. And in the middle of all of it, with young babies, you're gone physically. Anyway, you're gone. And Nipsey's helping him see 
I move around from the other side. So he's still in this plane working through things. If she's showing him how to do it, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. But I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.